Capital One Car Loans, part one of two. Many car buyers went the Capital One route when it came to financing their last car. Why? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy with the amazing Elizabeth. You've arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. And today's video is a great example of the stellar content that we put out for you, our audience. Today, we're providing you with a high level look at Capital One and part one of a two part series and how this lender became positioned in the car loan business with dealerships in the way that it has. First, there are a few things you should be aware of that Capital One offers that any car buyer could benefit from. Whether you choose to borrow from them or not, Capital One gives car buyers a heads up on the interest rate they could be approved for with what is known as a soft pull on their credit. Now, this is not the same as a hard pull, which can drag down your credit score. It's a soft pull, and you'll get an interest rate quote by doing it. Capital One is also a commonplace refinance car loan, so if you didn't like the rate or term you have on your current one, you can apply for a refinance loan through Capital One and possibly lower your rate and term and reduce your total costs. It's worth a shot anyway. Like the car loan you might have had from your last dealership experience. Mm -hmm. Capital One also has a loan payment calculator there to help you figure out what your monthly payment would be given all the details of your car loan. We have both a car loan and a lease payment calculator on the Homework Guy website, so That's don't right. forget to check our resource either. Not everything with Capital One is a bowl of cherries. While it is true that you can pre-qualify for a car loan with a well-known bank, the auto loans Capital One offers are genuinely available only at participating dealerships. Also, several of the people who write about Capital One loans, I'm talking about the links written by journalists or reviews by impartial writers, well, quite often they're partially compensated by Capital One or have some form of partnership with them. So you have to take all the news about Capital One with a little bit of a grain of salt. It might actually be a Capital One influencer who's telling you that you should go with them. For the record, the homework guy has absolutely nothing to do with Capital One. Nothing. We are just very aware of their car loans and the volume of people who have used Capital One. Think about something. How many banks mail out pre-approval letters for car loans trying to get prospective car buyers into a dealership? Not many. Capital One does it all the time, and most often they are targeting at-risk clients who are credit challenged. When a customer walks in the door of a dealership with a Capital One pre-approval letter in their hand, <laughs> that person will oftentimes get handed directly to the finance office. That's your worst nightmare, too. Yes, finance is often involved in the Capital One promotions, and the guys that I'm familiar with who are promoting these loans, uh, they're not people that I would even borrow $10 from, seriously. No way. They are some of the most unscrupulous people I ever knew to be working in finance. That didn't make a really great impression on me about Capital One, to be honest with you. Along those lines, Capital One was one of Business Insider's top picks for car loans, and specifically people with challenged credit. Capital One offers a limited range of interest rates on car loans, and they do start reasonably low. That's right. However, you won't generally see a rate lower than 2.9% even for better qualified buyers. But to Kevin's point about finance guys preying upon people with challenged credit, Capital One will work with people as long as their credit score isn't below 500. There are reported cases of them helping people below 500, but you'll have to inquire directly with the company if that happens to be you. Every lender has a box, and Capital One is no exception. They write loans as low as 4000 and as high as 50000 They accept co-signers. They shoot for a minimum monthly income around $1,700. And that is really doggone That's really low, low, isn't it? And that could range a few hundred bucks. They generally finance cars up to seven years of age as well. A few more details. If you do the soft pre-approval we mentioned, or if you get a pre-approval letter in the mail, the offer is good for up to 30 days. You will have to do a hard inquiry once you select a vehicle and choose to go with a car loan. The interest rate you get depends largely on what's in your application and the vehicle you select. That's a really good thing to know. The car you select matters and it influences your interest rate on your loan. I bet a lot of people didn't know that. Nope. A car is a depreciating asset and some depreciate faster than others. That's right. Some break down more than others and banks are aware of this. There is no application fee with Capital One and you can use a co-signer if you think you need to. A few Capital One restrictions and things to be aware of. If you are refinancing, you can extend your current loan by up to 12 months, but we don't recommend you do that, but you can, just don't do it. Just don't do that. <laughs> you can't finance cars like Oldsmobile, Daewoo, Saab, Suzuki, and Isuzu vehicles. Capital One doesn't touch RVs, camper vans, or salvage and branded title vehicles. The last word is that they also don't do lease buyouts, which to me makes no sense whatsoever. That should be a great car. Mm -hmm. If someone from Capital One wants to respond as to why in that comment section down below, or just say, yes, we do those now, well, nobody's stopping you. There's a free comment section down below. And if you're watching this video in Alaska or Hawaii, you're out of luck. Capital One doesn't do loans in your state. This was a high level view of Capital One and the auto loans that they provide. As with all things, do your homework. Don't walk into anything that involves a car dealer without both eyes open. 
and a degree of skepticism in the back of your mind. Read everything and don't sign what you don't understand. If you happen to be one of those buyers that they immediately hand off to the finance man the moment you walk in the door, <laughs> run away as run. fast as you can. It doesn't matter what you have pre-approved. You're asking the manager of the lion's den to tell you what's for dinner, and you smell like a great big pork chop. <laughs> That's good. Probably the greatest feature is the pre-approval with a soft pool. You don't have to use Capital One if you prefer your own bank or credit union. But this soft pool feature they have will at least tell you what interest rate you qualify for, and that's without doing a, a credit check. So check it out. If you have experience with Capital One Auto Loans, please comment down below and share your story. Most definitely. And we'll include your comments in our Capital One Part 2 video, and we'll also have somebody with Capital One on that show with us. If you appreciated our Capital One video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find and in that description box down below or on our website. But if you really want to help and you want your friends to be the luckiest people on the planet, well then help us get the word out, share our content and encourage others to subscribe too because our subscribers are always getting lucky. And everybody wants to get lucky, right? <laughs> and when you get lucky, you help bring fairness and honesty back to the car business. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with Elizabeth, the best automotive show on the planet. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.